Welcome to another GammaCast. Oh yeah, it's Monday morning. As normal, I'm tired. This time, instead of a coffee, I've, I've got a V because I'm so tired I can't be bothered walking back to the coffee shop. It's always a good start when you're that tired. So let's just jump straight in to some cool comics. Future State, Superman, Wonder Woman. So we've got some of these bad boys in store. It's a pretty cool looking cover, I must admit. I haven't read any of the Future State stuff yet. I've got some that I've selected all sort of stacked up, ready to go. Uh, there's Future State, Green Lantern number one. Also a cool cover. That yeah, looks pretty awesome. Future State, Kara Zor-El, Superwoman one. Interesting cover. It's kind of like highly detailed, but still like not. That's, I don't know, it's simplistic. But yeah, pretty cool. Obviously variant cover. Uh, for some indie stuff, we got Ha Ha, number one. Be interested to hear any feedback on that one. I haven't tried it yet, so interested to know what that's like. We've still got a couple of crossover threes left. So if you're lucky enough and want one of these cool spawn covers, you can still grab one in store. Um, super happy that we've still got one or two left because it's such a cool book. For Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man, 57, Last Remains Post-Mortem, so it's basically the last part of this story arc. Um, I'm super keen to get onto that, but unfortunately I don't think I'll get to read it till next week. I don't think I'll touch any of my books until next week. It's just uh, busy, 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 busy at the moment. And Chris Claremont number one. So I haven't read this yet. I've been told some different things about it, but if you're a Claremont fan, I'm just going to suggest getting it to chuck it into your collection just because of Claremont, you know, just got his name on it. Give it a try. I might even try and duck in a read of that this morning. Planet of the Symbiotes. I haven't read this yet either, but I'm so keen to get onto this. I'm desperate to, to jump onto this. I need to figure out where I'm up to my King in Black. I've nearly, I was up to date until last week's books, or last Thursday's books. So I'll probably end up spending, I don't know, possibly Friday even, the whole day just reading to catch up on everything King in Black. But I'm super excited for that one. Now let's quickly talk about some trades. We got Birds of Prey, Hero Hunters in store. They're pumping out a lot of Birds of Prey lately, so I'm not sure if that's in, con in conjunction with the fact that, uh, I guess, uh, Carly Quinn and the Birds of Prey was like basically the only DC movie for the year, um, or for last year. So I'm assuming they're just gonna keep printing their stuff and reprinting all their runs until something new comes out. Uh, of course, Vision and Scarlet Witch, the saga of Wanda and Vision. That is in store, it's collecting a heap of stuff, that's $70. The Birds of Prey one, sorry, I forgot to mention, it's fifty-two fifty. But yeah, this is $70, uh, this is really cool, we've got heaps of good stuff in here. Um, yeah, not gonna go too far into it. I've watched the show, if you've watched the show, uh, let me know what you think without any spoilers, let's not ruin it for anyone. I really enjoyed it so far, the two episodes. Uh, key wall time. We've got a signed Wolverine number one on there. Uh, it is fifty-two fifty. And it is signed by Ben Percy, and there's only 100 copies done. So, and this is number 67, so it's got the Dynamic Forces thing in the back, so that's pretty cool. Uh, on the wall to celebrate Wonder Woman being out. So Wonder Woman, I still haven't seen that yet either. Gotta add that to my list of things to do. This is Wonder Woman number 132, $65. It's got Wonder Tot on there. Uh, as I had jokingly posted that it could be the, the, this is the prelude to Wonder Thoughts for the podcast. Uh, then we've got some really cool Australian price variants here for Amazing Spider-Man. I know a lot of people are loving these price variants. So it's $20 on that one there. So that's number 370. There's $20 on 367. There's $20 on 371. And... $20 on 377 and 364. Pretty cool having the Oz price variants. Don't see them very often. Uh, and also on the key wall, we've got a uh, punchline appearance from the Batman 92 variant cover, uh, 9.6. That is a $150, very awesome cover. Sorry if there's too much glare on that, trying to, trying to do it correctly, but you know. And of course we've got Punchline number one, $157.50. Uh, also just a, a great comic for 9.8.
So there on the key wall, I'm waiting for, uh, I think, three boxes, one or two from the States and one from uh, Australia for toys. That includes uh, Connor from Comic Thoughts. He'll be getting some new Mezco toys. Um, one of our Gamma Rays customers will be getting a uh, Hot Toys Spider-Man that looks absolutely incredible. Um, can't wait to see that arrive. And then there's some DC, there's a DC Batman and Joker in there that's coming. And then I know there's an electronic moving the child and uh, some more Bat Azrael's finally coming back in, but it's the black suit Azrael one that's coming in. Um, yeah, so heaps of cool toys on the way. Uh, yeah, that's about everything I've got. Other than also, I'll quickly mention that we've got these bad boys back in stock. These are comic book bins. They're heavy duty, acid free and stackable. They're absolutely awesome. They're $45, super good. You can even put a little card in the front to show what you're collecting. This is what I keep my expensive uh, Amazing Spider-Mans in. Any Amazing Spider-Man that I think is expensive goes into one of these. So pretty much I've filled up two boxes of these now uh, full of Spideys and it's just the best way to keep them. Super safe, super easy to store, stackable, interchangeable, it's fantastic. So yeah, I 100% suggest getting these. I wouldn't mind slowly swapping my entire box run into them. It's just a slow, expensive process. All right, that's everything I've got. Also, don't forget, I've got a Submariner that you may have seen. If you want a closer look at the Submariner number one, uh, hit me up. I should have put that over. I didn't think that through. But yeah, anyway, that's got $500 on it, but we're also open to offers. Um, I think everything will be normal for a Thursday shipment. So I'll see you on Thursday. And don't forget to sign in on... Wednesday for another Comic Thoughts podcast. All right, camera off.